Hello again, year four. Chapter four of Vijack, uh, the Outlaw of Vijack Poor, coming out today. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, all your feedback on it has been amazing. I'm really, really enjoying reading it, and it's so good to know that you're enjoying it too. So, uh, chapter four Vijack Dreamed. He dreamed he was standing on a mountain at sunrise. The air tasted sharp and sweet, like wild mint. Everything seemed brighter and clearer than normal. Everything was glowing with silent sunlight. The sky was so clear and blue, he could see the stars, though it was daytime. An old cat stood beside him. He wasn't big, but something about him looked dangerous. His fur was silver blue and his eyes were amber, like Varjak's. It was Jalal, Varjak's ancestor, who he met in dreams, and who'd taught him the way. Where are we, Jalal? said Varjak. The mountains of Mesopotamia, said Jalal. We're on top of the world. Everything starts here. He gestured at the silver stream, shimmering beneath them in the sun. The stream flowed down into a river that wound through hills and valleys below, making the world green with life. On the banks of the river, far away, sparkled a city. You were down there when we last met, said Jalal. Down on the ground with everyone else. But now see where you are? Varjak looked around. They were completely alone on the top of a mountain. The blueness of the sky was dazzling. The silence pressed in on his ears. And the wild mint air was making him lightheaded. They were too high, higher than the sun. What am I doing here, Jalal? He said. I know the seven skills. I know everything you've taught me. And here I am on the highest mountain. The highest mountain, interrupted Jalal, eyes sparkling with amusement. Well, perhaps you are here because you have more to learn. When you first came to Mesopotamia, you were but a helpless kitten. I didn't know anything back then. I thought I wanted to be a great fighter. And you no longer wish that, said Jalal. This is good, for truly great fighters, though there are things more powerful than fighting. Seeing, for instance. I don't want to be a fighter, snapped Varjak. The old cat just looked at him calmly. Anyway, seeing's not powerful, he muttered. Everyone knows how to see. Yes, said Jalal. You know how to see, and yet you say you are on the highest mountain. Varjak looked down. He saw the hills and the valleys below. He looked up and saw the sky, with stars as clear as day. No mountains above him, only sky. That's right, he said, the highest mountain. Hmm, said Jalal, the highest mountain. You have much to learn, indeed. Now see what is behind you. Vajak turned around and what he saw, he would never forget. A whole range of mountains reared up above him. They were impossibly huge and white. Their sheer faces filled the sky, massive, unknowable, a perfect mystery. And he, was the own, and, and he was only on the lowest peak. There are more mountains beyond those too, chuckled Jalal, and more, even higher, on the other side. Look in the wrong direction, and you would never notice them. But up in those mountains, perhaps you will learn what is more powerful than fighting. So come now, Varjakpur, come climb with me. A short one today with lots of amazing language and vocabulary in there. See if you can use that in your writing. <laughs>